All right, welcome back everybody, Stacey G's here, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to master new mechanics quickly. I'm gonna use an example of the new clambering feature, which I think is insanely useful for box fighting and just fighting in general in Fortnite, and it's been a lot used to the frame game. But this things that I'm gonna cover here on actually how to learn the new mechanics as quick as possible is gonna to apply to any mechanics. Whether you guys wanna learn something like a retake or some type of box fighting technique or some type of different technique like that, anything mechanical, this is gonna help you learn it as quick as possible and it's gonna be able to translate it from creative into in-game, into actual tournaments as quickly as possible. Okay, so the first thing that you want to go ahead and do is just load up a creative by yourself completely alone, and you're just going to go ahead and practice the mechanics of how you actually do it. So that's going to be the timing, where you need to look with your mouse and what you're looking around, what key buttons you need to press. Just practice it on your own and try to figure out exactly what components you need to do. If it's a retake, that's something that's slightly more complicated. Figure out exactly what you need to be pressing and all the different motions. If it's something slightly more complicated, which we're we'll looking at here, all you need to figure out is how to break it into individual pieces and then how to actually execute those at once. Okay, so now that you've actually gone ahead and learned on how to do it on your own properly where there's no pressure, you're gonna add a little bit of pressure by just doing creative one ones so there's no repercussions of dying or whatever. And then from there, just practice doing it a couple of times during fights with someone else. Again, this is just, just practicing actually how to do it while there's somebody actually pressuring you and knowing the situations of how to do it. Again, you're not just trying to spam this the entire time, you just want to try to do it in the correct situation as you go ahead and fight someone on how to get a free shot on them. Obviously, if you want to someone for a while, they might eventually catch on to what you're doing, but it's still good to practice it and learn how to do it in the correct situations. All right, after you've got used to just practicing it on your own in creative, there's kind of two things that you can do to take it a step further from that into actually getting into tournaments. The first one is what I'm doing now, which is playing arena. You can either play solo arena or duo arena. Duo and team mode arenas tend to be a little bit easier to actually just practice things on. Obviously, there's more people, so I'd probably recommend solo arena if you actually just want to work on a specific thing and try to do it as many times as possible. And also, what you can do instead of that is just doing 2v2s versus multiple different people, or you can actually do something like realistic PvP where there's loads of different players playing in and you get to fight against multiple different people. And there's a lot more pressure. The whole point of the fact that we're learning on our own and creative and then going further forwards is just to build up the amount of pressure you have to actually execute it properly while you're playing. And of course, tournaments are the most pressure situations where you build up slowly, practice it, and this, this process of actually learning and practicing and building up how much pressure you have in certain situations can take up to like a week or something. As long as you do it in the correct order, it should go pretty quickly though. And you can learn things in about one to two days normally. All right, after you've gone ahead and practiced it and actually using it in arena, so whether that's solo arena or dual arena, it's very important to be able to do it in both. So you can do it in both game modes. Then you should be at the point where you're comfortable enough to actually start doing it in scrims. So when you're playing customs, and then once you've got down there, where it's in slightly laggier lobbies, the timing is more important, then you can actually successfully do it in tournaments. And that's how you're going to outplay your opponents and place better. As always, I hope you guys enjoy this kind of short video covering some very important stuff on improving your mechanics and make sure to leave a like and subscribe.